You have been quoted recently as saying, we will not become dinosaurs. Good morning, Patrick. Yeah. We will come, not become dinosaurs because uh, at the difference with dinosaurs, we have a brain, which means we are able to think and so to adapt ourselves. I think today we face uh, a sort of, uh, a lot of emotion yeah, in the energy fields around the world because there is a fundamental issue, which is a climate change issue, which is really a challenge for all of us. It's a very serious matter. But at the same time, uh, I think people want to uh, go very, uh, think that there could be a sort of magic uh, tool and uh, that we could get rid of fossil fuels, all the fossil fuels are wrong, and that we'll, uh, we could uh, suddenly change the energy mix uh, again in a night. It's not possible, we all know that. Uh, I think the oil and gas industry, yes, is facing some questions, some challenges, like always, but we are able to answer to these questions. Uh, thanks to development of technologies, we can uh, clearly improve the way we are producing. Uh, first, of course, uh, working on our own uh, emissions, CO2 emissions. Now it's a serious matter. We can uh, find uh, technologies, for example, for example, electrification of processes where uh, we could uh, probably uh, lower really the level of emissions, really stop flaring gas, like yeah. it was done. All of, most of our companies have taken some commitments and we are working on it, so there is a I would say a virtuous circle. And I think uh, we can go more, of course, we can do more to m tomorrow, uh, but we must also think to the customers because fundamentally our customers are willing to have more energy. There are more people on this planet every day. So our real mission to all of us is uh, to provide a reliable energy and affordable energy. And of course, an energy compatible with the uh, respect of the planet and the environmental matters. But don't make a mistake, uh, reliable, affordable are also a key priority for our customers. And this is a big challenge for us, is uh, uh, how can we, on one side, really invest in all these new technologies, in uh, distributed generation, renewables, more electricity, etc., etc., and at the same time, continuing to serve an energy and to, uh, which is, uh, again, meeting the requirement of our customers and particularly out of pricing. All that requires a certain pace. But we'll know not, uh, it's not in the night again. It will take time, a long time, a long time. We have to keep a perspective. I think we should agree uh, with all the political leaders around the world that what is our target uh, by 2050 and not just uh, asking for get rid of fossil fuels. Obviously, uh, there will be more, more room for electricity. Uh, demand for electricity will grow, clearly. Uh, we are electrifying the economy, and it's one way providing that the electricity, which is secondary energy, is coming from the right, uh, from the right source, renewables, and natural gas, because uh, in any system we need to face seasonality of the demand and we need to have uh, uh, some complement to renewables. Natural gas is uh, the perfect complement, it's flexible, uh, it emits twice less CO2 than coal and other ways to produce electricity. And we need also to develop energy storage if we want also to have a comprehensive system. So it's a big, uh, it's a long journey. So I, I, I'm not think we are facing an existential. I mean, I disagree. I think, yes, we have some challenges. Uh, we have more questions in the Western world than here in the Middle East or in Asia. Well, I think people better understand somewhere the absolute necessity for energy and uh, and this is something which uh, is good to come in this region. You know, we, we have the feeling we are not uh, villains and demon, uh, de demonized, I would say, mm -hmm. uh, contrary to what could happen uh, on the Atlantic Basin. Uh, but again, I, 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 and the, as always in our industry, I think we have to believe in, uh, and to be optimistic in technology, in innovation. Mm -hmm. uh, we have demonstrated in the past that we are able to, to, fa to face and to answer these challenges. And, uh, the thematics today, 4.0, oil and gas 4.0 means, of course, to, to go again and to, uh, to bring uh, new technologies in order, for example, to uh, lower the emissions of the LNG value chain, etc. We can come back on it.